Hey guys, Simsley here with another speed build, and this time I am bringing you a vet clinic with an apartment above. This is actually going to be for a series I am starting very soon, my Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Let's Play, and I am really looking forward to it. It's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. I am so excited that we have pets here in Sims 4 now, and it, it's just a dream come true for many, many, many animal lovers. And I know we've all been waiting for this for about two and a half years now. And it's finally out. I'm excited. I've already been playing with the game some. And it's pretty awesome. Honestly, I'm going to tell you that. Right here I was trying to make a half wall where you could see into the waiting area. But I ended up taking that out later. Um, as you will see... Here I'm just working on the information, don't know the, uh, uh, not information desk, the entryway where you sign in, the, the lobby, the front desk. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it ended up turning out very well. I was having a bit of issues trying to get the curve to it like I wanted it, but I really should have. Instead of that, I should have just used the, um, curved walls for it, shouldn't I? Well, oh well. It actually t ended up turning out very well. If you're hearing any sound in the back, that's my chair. I need to get a new chair. It squeaks. Right here, I was trying to put pillars, but it didn't end up working out, so I just ended up scratching that idea. But, yeah. Um, I will be having a uh, review and overview on The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, and a um, build mode objects video coming out quite soon where I um, review all the objects that's come out with the game pack and I think you know I think there are some pretty cool items that have come out here in this pack um, so yeah <laughs> I meant to put the male door on the left and the female on the right for the bathrooms but it ended up being backwards but that's okay it's a pretty awesome build anyways so, yeah, I'm trying to get as much color in this vet's office as I can with the blue doors and the blue windows here. I was trying to figure out what windows I wanted, but those ended up working out the best. And I really think it worked out. And then I discovered that I had uh, the uh, doggy doors, which is absolutely fun. I was struggling here because I was trying to put a window above it and a doggy door underneath, but every time it just see it blacked out either the window or it blacked out the dog door so I just ended up putting a little vet sign right there and I think that looked turned out really really cute I really like that so yeah I just did a little kitty and the dog with the pink uh, cross sign so that turned out beautiful and I absolutely love this build I know many of you are so excited for this game and I mean, I've been messing around. I've already made my family. I've made my animals, my dog, my little dog, my cat. And I just, the one thing I hope that comes to The Sims 4 soon is definitely horses. Horses and, um, horses and hamsters, like little caged animals. That would be so cool. Birds. You know, I know you can go grab those frogs and you can breed the frogs, but um, I didn't really uh, want to go do that. I probably will do that in my Let's Play, but you'll see that in the when it comes out. <laughs> but here I'm working on the upstairs. I went for a brick look, where it, more modern look with the brick. I used the same windows. I was trying to get that kind of edge that I have above the vet's office onto it, but I wouldn't want to do it, so I just went ahead with a curved, rounded roof type thing. It looks like um, one of those roofs that you have on kind of like a castle, and I loved it. I really loved how this turned out. I went ahead and I made a angled roof just to give it a little bit more detail. And I really enjoyed that. It, it really looks nice. Um, I'm working back on the vet's office where I'm going to put stuff. 
and yeah, I, I wanted to go with these um, doors that were the rainbow, but I just went ahead and went with the regular barn doors. I think those looked more modern-ish type. And yeah, <laughs> I went with some funky, funky colors in the um, rooms. I mean, because who wants to be in a vet's office that, you know, is just bleh and white? It looks like a hospital and, you know... We don't want our furry little friends to just think they're in a hospital. We want them to enjoy their surroundings and enjoy where they are. Um, so I went with these pink couches and I think it's more comfy. So my my animals where I go is a it's a fancy vet office. You actually have nice couches. You don't really have those little itty bitty benches like some places have. Yeah, they actually have couches and it's really nice so it's comfy for your wait sometimes you'll be waiting there for about 30 minutes just because it's such a busy vet office and I yeah <laughs> so so long story short I had my dog got hurt one time and I had to take her to the vet and I was sitting there for about maybe an hour hour and a half just waiting on the vet because she, I don't know what happened, but she, her eyes got inflamed and just were like almost shut. So I had to rush her to the vet. And it was, it was quite scary, honestly, because she was only a year old when this happened. Like, I, uh, she probably had an allergic reaction, said the vet. Like, because when she was in her cage, she was fine. When I put her in a cage th for the night and then when I came back came back to let her out and her eyes were almost swollen shut so I think I think she might have had an allergic reaction or something so they gave her a shot to get the swelling down and that instantly helped but yeah see I, I'm moving the other um, exam table into the other room and putting the surgery one in here as well as the little workbench for it and yeah, that's pretty much what this looks like. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've been rambling on a lot and I am sorry, but I'm just excited. I uh, definitely changed out some of the colors here. I went ahead and made a nice um, <coughs> area where like, you know, you got the sink, then you've got your overhead storage, your underhead storage, like you have at your vet. But uh, it, it turned out really, really nice. Um, because the office, the vet's office I go to, um, they've got a lot of animals they see, so they've got to have a lot of supplies and storage. I wanted to put a bench here where the chairs are, but I went ahead and just went with these white chairs. I think it looked a lot nicer, where, and it just it fit the room with the white countertops and the white uh, cabinets. So yeah, it, it definitely tied the room together, I think, more than what it would have. But it, it does look really nice. This one is just a small little like cabinet area here. And it, it looks a lot nicer. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I was working on some more details here. I wanted to get like a tannish um, ground, tannish... Uh, linoleum tiles for this room and not really white because you've got the white cabinets it would kind of bleed into the cabinets and you wouldn't really be able to see the flooring I uh, went ahead and put paw prints all around this room because why not it's adorable and I love it it was a bit of a tedious work to do but you know it turned out wonderful in the end and it's really just a really nice room I went ahead and upscaled some of these posters some stuff that was here and put some clouds and kitty and just a lot of decorations i really put decoration in mind in this game and in, in my build for this one and um yeah but uh it turned out really really well as you'll see later on in the video the apartment i absolutely love how the apartment turned out but I think I've been rambling on a bit too much, you guys. So I'll let you guys go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video. And I will see you guys in the Let's Play coming up soon. Bye, guys.
tear And these nights are getting shorter Like a bad energy I'll conquer In my soul, this is real These nights are getting shorter In my soul, this is real Take a moment right here Feeling like it's out gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Like an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running
To my boss that I'm done Had no luck with my mom Say what will you do with your life You know it's hard to survive A cigar in my mouth Maybe guilty but proud Now I'm an outlaw 